a song called Lord I Need You. Come in that way. Praise the Lord. I really appreciate all of you showing up today. Uh, if you've ever been baptized, you know how important it is to have family and friends to come and support you. This is a monumental occasion. It is a time where publicly people are confessing through the obedience of water baptism that I know the Lord as my personal Savior. And so we've got uh, one of the, I imagine, the largest groups we've ever had associated with New Haven today. And boy, that's an honor for a pastor. And I want to say, too, just briefly, uh, what a wonderful service we had this morning, if you were with us. Uh, people being saved during service, after service, and God just took over. And I expect today's baptism just to be a continuation of that. Uh, but today we want to begin... Uh, we're going to introduce each individual, and if they want to share a testimony, they're welcome to. But I'm going to start with my daughter, Roxy Jane. I'll let you come first. Roxy Jane, you want to share? This is Roxy Jane. She's my seven-year-old daughter. She's the last one to be baptized of the family. And we're so proud of her. She asked the Lord to save her a couple of years ago. Uh, we were at home, and we were talking about being saved. And she said, Dad, I think I want to get saved now. And so we prayed with her. And so today she felt like she wanted to publicly show that she uh, is ready to live and die in Christ Jesus. That's what baptism's about. So, Roxy Jane, do you know the Lord as your Savior? Yes, sir. She said, yes, sir. You want to say anything before I baptize you? All right. Everyone, if you will, let's bow our heads. Father, we thank you for this precious life, for Roxy Jane, Lord, and for all these others who are here today. We just ask God as she uh, commits in this public act of obedience that, God, you'll carry her farther than she's ever been in her life. And Lord, we give you thanks for her and for all that's going to happen through her. Use her as a witness, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, put your hand over your nose. I say, Holy Ghost, you can hold your breath, okay? All right. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> 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 Sister Crystal Presley, a dear friend of ours, 
And uh, I've seen the Lord do just amazing things in her life over the years. Do you confess to know Jesus as your Savior? Yes. Is there anything you'd like to share in testimony today? Um, not at the moment. All right. All right, everyone, if you will, let's bow our heads. Father, what a precious jewel Crystal is. And God, you've given her and her husband, Lord, a beautiful, handsome boy. And now another child's on the way. And God, now she makes a public confession. I pray, Lord, you're just going to take her family to a new level in you. God, use her as a witness everywhere she goes. And we thank you for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's okay to clap after we baptize. We're not starchy. Woo! <laughs> it's okay to get excited for Jesus. This is Alyssa Paget. Her and her dad are very special to us. We've seen her grow spiritually in a very short time. And she's a great part of New Haven and uh, is involved with sports. And Chloe and her really got, I think, to know each other more during that. They may have known each other before, but we've just grown to love this family. Uh, but Alyssa, do you know the Lord as your personal Savior? Yes. Amen. Do you want to share any testimony? All right, let's bow our heads. Father God, we speak blessings over Alyssa and her family. Lord Jesus, only you know what's coming in the next few years, but you've already equipped her to face everything. And God, she carries a, a powerful sword of the Spirit in her hand. And Lord, thank you for the great things she's going to accomplish for your glory. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go ahead and hold your nose, and I'm going to baptize you. In your knees when we go backward. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, that's exciting. Stand up. Everybody's surprised it's warm. You can tell some people are used to some cold creeks, apparently, or they've heard the stories. I know the first time I was baptized, it was in a, some sort of creek or river. Uh, but we love Daisy. Uh, Richard is my cousin, and uh, for the first time we saw Daisy, we said, man, that girl's a spitting image of that, of that boy. And the, the experiences we have with her when she's able to come to church is just she's such a kind individual. I believe that she really loves the Lord with all her heart, and God's got great things for her. But Daisy, do you know the Lord is your personal Savior? Amen. Do you want to say anything for the Lord? All right. Let's pray for Daisy. Father God, it's a wonderful honor for Daisy to be able to take part in this baptism that is in obedience to what you asked us to do, Lord, when you said to go out and baptize believers, make disciples, and Lord, she is a disciple. I pray, Lord, from this day forward that something's going to shift in her life, that, Lord, it'll be like a miracle takes place, Lord, as she goes underwater and comes back up, that a fire will be lit in her life, and we just commit her to you and give you thanks for her. In Jesus' name, amen. Baptize you, Daisy, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the Lord. You ready? This is Brianna. She's one of the little bakers. Baker's dozen. No, we, we, we love the Baker's family and uh, appreciate their family coming today and supporting these beautiful children and the parents. We've had opportunity, my wife and I, uh, to work with Brianna and Cameron in class. I know on Wednesday nights, she's part of our class, and Carol Ray has her on Sunday mornings for Children's Church. And it's just been such a joy to see her grow in the Lord. And uh, as she's asked God to forgive her, to, to see what all that the Lord's got for her future. Uh, but I want to ask you today, Brianna, do you know Jesus as your Savior? Amen. You're proud of it, aren't you? Oh, hallelujah. Do you want to say anything for the Lord? Okay. So just stand right, not right here. Let's pray for Brianna. Father God, what a gift from heaven Brianna is. Lord, you gave her to this earth, Lord, to just be a light unto you, unto your people. And I thank you, Jesus, for her testimony today that she knows you and that you're going to do great and mighty things through her life. In Jesus' holy name, amen. 
All right, Brianna, as soon as I say Holy Ghost, I'm going to put you under and you just hold your mouth closed. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Alyssa Baker. I'm going to say something about Alyssa. Y'all ready? She's, she's a gift from the Lord. Uh, I have seen her be used so many times since she's been able to come to our church and the, the love that I, I feel from her heart, the compassion, you know, she'll talk to me about other people and that she wants to help them and be a blessing. I saw this morning she walks in with breakfast for the adults and she brought a bunch of Pop-Tarts for the kids and, and I just see so much compassion in, uh, in Alyssa's life and I want you to know that we love you. We love y'all. And we're thankful for all that you do. Do you know the Lord is your personal yes, Savior? Yes, I do. Amen. Do you want to testify today for the Lord? I like to say I love the Lord and I thank Him for His Son and for my family and my, all my family being here. I have been praying for them. I would be in church and I thank God they all are here today to see yeah. our kids getting baptized. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Step forward just a couple steps. Our heads. Father God, thank you so much for Alyssa Baker. Lord, in the short time we've grown to know her and her family, Lord, we've seen the kind of heart that a Christian's supposed to have. Thank you, Lord, for the growth in her life in such a short time that, God, she's got several mountains ahead that she's about to scale. And, God, you're going to get all the glory. And great things will be accomplished through her as a woman of God, a mother, Lord, of, of the faith, and a wife, God, of, of the faith. I give you thanks for her. In Jesus' name, amen. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Contributing to the water fund at Safe Harbor today. <laughs> Woo! Who's next? You next? All right. Come on in. Little Baker. This is Cameron. Just hold this one slow. All right, I'm going to kind of hold him up so y'all can see Cameron. This is Cameron Baker. And I'm here to tell you, this boy loves the Lord. Amen. They can't hardly get him to stop talking about Jesus. They'll go out to the Walmart and go to the grocery store and they'll turn around. There he is talking to people about the Lord. Uh, he's a little witness for Christ. He's also a great uh, uh, person, a great young man in our classes at church. Uh, he's, he's such a gentle heart when you are around him for long. He smiles and he's happy and he's just a precious boy. And I'm so glad that he's willing to do this at such an early age. How old are you right now? Is it five? Five years old. Isn't that something? Uh, to be willing to be baptized. And so, Cameron, do you confess to know Jesus as your Lord today? He nodded his head, yes. Do you want to say anything to the church? You want to testify? All right. So just stand right there. Let's bow our heads. Father God, thank you for Cameron. Lord, I'm so glad you give us the opportunity to minister to him. Lord, my wife and I, we just enjoyed so much being able to pour the gospel and our other teachers that influence him, Lord, in a good way. Lord, we thank you that we're seeing uh, fruit from our labor and that already at a young age, he's working for you hard, God. And just open up new doors for him, Jesus. I thank you for the calling on his life and that greater things are coming. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, go ahead. Cameron, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord's watching you. He's proud of you. All right, who's next? This is Cole. This one's what I call a new one. He's fresh off the altar. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is about as fresh as I've ever baptized anybody. 
uh, today he was in service and I I don't know was you going to share any of this testimony because I don't want to steal your thing I'll say it real fast in case he won't share anything but I, I just want to convey this that we're in service today and I'm telling you Holy Ghost was moving with power and with fire and uh, what an anointing we felt and after church you know we pretty much thought service was over we're talking about where to go eat and I have Cole and a, a brother Ricky Simmons walk up to me and say, he says pastor this young man needs to talk to you and I'm like okay so we go to my office and I won't say everything that was discussed in there but I will say that Cole within about five to ten minutes was bought with the blood of Jesus oh glory to God he was bought with the blood of Jesus Christ saved and is on his way to heaven can I get an amen, amen. hallelujah so he just gave his life to Jesus about two to three hours ago and now he's already obeying in baptism. So now that I've, I've pretty much told you your testimony, Cole, do you confess to know Jesus as your Savior? Yes, sir. Amen. Is there anything you want to share with the church? All right. Just face that way. Stand about right there. Let's pray for Cole. Yes, Father God, I know you've got a great, great ministry for Cole to do. Yes. He and I don't know specifics yet, but Lord, you're going to show him step by step what it is. And I'm excited to hear the testimonies, God, of the souls that will be saved through the work he will do. But, Lord, tomorrow is another day and the next day and the next. And he's going to need you just as strong then as he did today. And I thank you that you're a God of Monday through Saturday just as well as Sunday. And that, Lord, your hand's on his life. You're surrounding him with strong angels. And that, God, he'll be a light for you in a dark world. We commit him to you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I baptize you, Cole, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You did it. <laughs> Woo! Well, glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. This is the elder baker. Brother Joseph, dear friend of ours, been coming to the church for quite a while, and he's always willing to offer his help, assistance, and for some reason, he also has a knack for coming up with questions that I've never heard in my life, <laughs> and uh, trying to keep me on edge, and sometimes I have to go look up things to make sure I tell him right. Uh, he went through a program, the discipleship program this past year, <laughs> and buddy, he, he kept me laughing, because I would have questions that were semi-serious, and he always found a way to bring the joy of the Lord into every one of them, uh, but I would be saying, in there laughing with nobody around me because he's just he's so gifted he's uh, humorous but most of all he loves the Lord and you can see that in his life and, and in his family I think today is evidence of, of the man of God that Joseph is just by seeing his family do you know the Lord is your Savior Joseph yes I do is there anything you want to share with the people a testimony or whatever you want to say yeah, just at all. You know, being the, the leader of a family, you know, we all have to follow somebody and we follow our pastor. But we also lead by example when we're leading our children, not just with what we say or what we tell them, but the things that we do. They're watching everything we do also. Yes. So, That's beautiful. Everyone, please pray with me. Father, I pray for Brother Joseph Baker. Lord God, he's not even begun to see the potential, Lord, of you in him. God, he's seen great things, but greater things are on the way. Yes. And Lord, we just declare in Jesus' name that your will be done in his life, that God, there be a, a peace and a joy, love, blessings financially, God, that reign upon his family. Thank you, God, for whatever he needs and desires, that you're going to give him the desires of his heart. And today, as he makes his public confession, Lord, just take him to a whole other level with you and bless him, I pray, in Jesus' name. Joseph, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. To God be the glory. Amen. Are you the last one? Bro? All right. The Bible says the last shall be first. <laughs> we love this guy. Uh, this is Bro Pageant. I'm going to stand right here. This is Bro Pageant. John's his real name. We call him Bro. Uh, we are so grateful for the impact he's made on our lives and on our church. He's one of the many who, when you see him walk in the doors, it smiles start going on people's faces because he, he brings so much joy to a room. And uh, he's got great wisdom, and God uses him to inspire others. 
Uh, and there's been many times Carol Ray and I would sit down at the table at restaurants and talk with him. But before we were done, we were laughing. We might have been crying when we got there, but he just brings us so much joy. But he loves the Lord, and you can see it in his life. He's been through crisis like a lot of us, and he stayed faithful. He held on. He said, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to trust in the Lord. And God's been faithful to him. But, uh, bro, do you know the Lord is your Savior? Yes, sir. Is there anything you want to share with the church today? Uh, well, I just want to... All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we speak over Bro Padgett. Lord, he is such a wonderful blessing to me. God, and to many in our church and many in his life, God, even the school children, whenever he would drive a bus or do any kind of work at all, Lord, he's always making an impact. And I pray, Lord, his light will shine greater throughout the rest of his life, that, Lord, greater things are coming. The children and adults will be saved, God, from his, his witness. And just use them in all ways, we ask, in Jesus' name. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. All right, to God be the glory. As far as the baptism, baptismal part, that concludes that part of the service. I would like for our worship pastor, Stu Hilburn, to come back up, if you will, and lead us in another song. Uh, Mama, is there anything that needs to be said as far as from Safe Harbor. Uh, thank you to Safe Harbor for allowing us. Let's give Safe Harbor a hand. Amen. <laughs> Lord has blessed them with a gorgeous facility, and it's such a blessing they'd let us come and use it uh, to baptize our people. And we're, we're all family. We're part of Safe Harbor, New Haven. God's just give us all a special bond. But anyway, if you'll stand, and let's worship one more time as Stu leads us, and then we'll make our way down. Thank you.
can move the mountains My God is mighty to save He is mighty to save Forever, author of salvation 